hi guys welcome back to my channel today i just want to take you through the five steps to pass your british citizenship test i have done my british citizenship test recently and i have passed it so i just wanted to share the tips that i followed in order and the, the tips that i followed and the struggles that i had i was faced with when i was you know doing uh when i was getting ready for my citizenship test or rather when i was uh, when I was doing my citizenship test, so yeah, just wanted to put, I just wanted to share this with you and hope it will be beneficial to you. The first step uh, would be to have a plan set out. By this, I mean, what are your goals? By when do you want to achieve this? And I would like you to set a date by when you want to actually do your citizenship test, because if you set a date and if you check that date. Uh, every day then at least you'll have it in your head and your brain will tell you oh you need to actually do a revision for this because you will be seeing this date every single day so you'll actually be more serious with it so have a plan set out by 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 when you want to actually achieve uh what by when you want to go into the the sit the test and by when you'll start your revision the second one would be to start studying early. I mean, this is very beneficial because the more the more I, the the more earlier that you start revising, then the better chances of you passing the test. Because then you'd have been able to cover a lot of areas and a lot of subtopics and topics, so you would be able to be um be ready for the test. And the third one would be don't panic. I mean, a lot of people tend to panic and tend to be scared and afraid at the last minute or you know I haven't I've not revised I've not I'm not ready for this and all that so I would urge you not to panic last minute especially a lot of people did um because when I was at the center a lot of people actually were panicking I mean they were sweating and they were like oh I'm scared I don't want to go in there I'm like no don't panic I mean it's just a test I mean with <laughs> life is life has tested us so much than just a 24 question sitting down for 45 minutes i mean this is nothing so i would urge you to actually not panic don't be scared just be yourself calm down and then you don't have to panic if you've studied fully and you feel ready then that's when you go for the test if you don't feel ready for the test do not go because i mean you have to pay 50 pound anyways so you're just going to waste that. If you're not ready, do not go. But then once you've done your revision and you're fully confident, go and do the test. I mean, you don't have anything to lose. The fourth one will be trust your instinct. By this, I mean, do, a lot of people will be in your ears. A lot of people will say, okay, use the book, use the test online, use this website. There's going to be a lot of uh, people giving their own suggestion. But a lot of people, different techniques work for different people so choose what best suits you don't just do your research don't just listen to people do your research and then suit um see what best suits you um yeah so trust what trust your instincts if you think that the reading the book is best for you then do that if you think that going to the website and doing questions is best for you do that as well i i i actually was confident to to actually do uh questions online on a website if you would like me to share that i will share that website with you and the questions really helped me and i was confident with that whereas others would say okay i'm i'm okay with reading a book where that was not the case that didn't work for me so just trust your instincts and do what you like think is the best for you the fifth one would be don't waste time i mean don't really waste time be, I mean, don't waste time. I'm serious about this because you never really know how the law will change in a few years to come. So it's better to have your British citizenship. Even if the law changes, then at least you're on the safer side. Especially if you're from the EU, you know how Brexit, you don't really know how Brexit will affect you. So by the 31st of December 2020, the laws would have, you know, completely changed and your rights, you don't really know what rights you'd have. So I would urge you to actually, if you have stayed here for five years and you've got your indefinite leave to remain and you are at that point where you're able to apply for British citizen, do it right now. 
do it i would urge you to do it right now and also if you're a refugee and you've got an indefinite leave to remain do it at 12 months you can apply so please do do even nine months after you get indefinite leave to remain do i know that you when you indefinite leave to remain is 10 years and some people just take it for granted and they say oh it's fine i can stay with the indefinite leave to remain you never really know what the government um will like will bring you never really know so to be on the safer side i would urge you to actually apply for your british citizenship thanks thanks all for taking your time to watch my video and i hope these tips have uh, helped you if you've got any questions just comment down below and please do like this video subscribe and i'll come with a new video next time thank you so much i'll see you next in my next video bye bye ciao